Hey friends, welcome back to my studio. I'm so excited you're here with me today. I'm going to paint a flower field. It's winter here in Omaha, Nebraska, but boy, am I ready for spring. Here's the reference photo. I'll link it in this video's description. It's on unsplash.com. Isn't that fun? And it's nice. It's a simple reference photo of flowers. About two thirds of the way up is the tree line and then the sky. It makes it really easy. And then I also played a little bit with some colors and chalk pastel, so I kind of worked out a few things. I think I want this pink. It kind of goes back into space. I think I want to move it over this way or this way, so it's not quite in the center. I'm going to paint on an 8 by 8 inch cradled wood panel from US Art Supply. I've put clear gesso on it. It's an inch and a half thick. I just love these. They're nice and sturdy. So when people handle them at the gallery, they don't put thumbprints into the, you, they'd put thumbprints in the canvas, but they don't put thumbprints on these. Okay, guys, let's have some fun. Okay, let's set the table. Um, I worked on this for a bit just to, um, or just while I was in the mode, if that makes sense. I was in the groove, there we go. Oh, hey freckles, I'm right when I start talking. So I put a, basically a triangle of reddish color and then covered it up a little bit just to break it up. I'm using primary colors. We'll just start here. Uh, titanium white, phthalo blue, cad yellow. I did put out some bright aqua green, but I don't know if I needed it. I thought it might give it a little pop, but I don't know if I needed that. You could mix it. I put some yellow in your phthalo blue and some white. Also, um, I don't know if Liquitex lists it, but those are the color numbers. So white and whatever that color is, PG7. Let's see if this is PG7. No, can't read it, but it's PB15 something. Um, Quinacridone magenta, Mars black. And so I usually take yellow and orange, or yellow and quinacridone and black to make a brown. Made a rusty or red brown. Uh, yellow and blue make green, so I made some variations on green. I used primarily this three-quarter inch flat brush from Royal and Lane Nickel to go side to side. I did use this filbert a little bit. I used it on the trees originally. Um, I got this on Amazon. They're super cheap and they the paint pops off them really fast. <laughs> but I, you know, sometimes a cheap brush is good. Oh, and then a little bit, just as long as I'm doing brushes, I used a number four round from Princeton for a couple of the sky holes. Um, I primar primarily use this brush and just played with the colors. And I like when it gets dry and just kind of skips over. Or sometimes I would even pull a vertical just to get a little bit different texture. Hinted at a little bit of the red over there. Generally, I have my corners darker. Kind of keep you in the painting. 
What else? That might be about it. It just took me a bit to play with it. You know, I painted it in and then I kind of tried, basically I messed it up. And I like it better messy. I'm, I'm aiming a little bit more towards this than the reference photo, because this is really loose and soft. But we'll see how it goes. Okay guys, I think that does it. Oh, this is my canvas, or my wood panel showing through. Kinda should have left a little more showing through. It might be okay when I step back from it. Okay guys, I think that covers it. I'll be back in a bit. Hey friends, thought I'd pop in. So I'm using the 3 8 inch filbert brush and I'm gonna have a white poppy here, a white poppy there, but it needs the dark. Actually, maybe I should put some blue in there too. It needs the dark to stand out. A white poppy there, there. And then what's nice is the yellow and the orange are transparent. Here. They're semi-transparent. That box is half full on the diagonal. So when I make the orange, it's also semi-transparent because the quinacridone is the same. But that's nice because then I can put in some flowers that are kind of in the background and kind of and build up to where I want to go. And this could finish quickly or it could take a while. I need to put in, I'm going to put in some grasses. I've got a few stems in already. Just kind of building up all the flowers, which is fun. I'm wondering if this is too busy back here. I don't know, it's pretty. Oh, here, I, well, I, I could pick it up. I don't know that it'll be that closer for a screenshot. Here, we could do a little tour. The trees are better. Using the bigger brush really helped those. Okay, guys, I just wanted to pop in. I have a pretty palette, lots of pretty colors going on. I definitely didn't need the bright aqua green, but it doesn't hurt. Okay, guys, I'll be back in a bit. Hey friends, I'm calling it done. I made it busier, I think, than any of my previous flower field paintings. I'll have to go back and look at my own paintings because I can't remember. I also think it has a little bit of a storybook feel, which I don't mind. I think part of that's the colors. Um, I don't know, I'm not totally sure why. So I don't, like I have, here. Let's talk about this. So you can still see some of my red road, but I just keep covering more and more of it up. Um, and then like, not all of my strokes go all the way to the bottom. They just stop. I put in some more tall ones. I think these are like little cattails or something, which I don't think actually would be in there. Where's my reference photo here? There's something in the reference photo. Oh, there's like little seedy Oh, come on, iPad. There's like little 
Whatever those are, they're not cattails. That's what gave me the idea. That kind of looks like a cattail up there, doesn't it? If you want your flowers to look white, more white, I need a darker background or put them down, put some down here. So there's more contrast. The yellow is just brush strokes. You know, some are thin ones pushed into the back, some are thicker with a little bit of white, just almost scribbling. I can't think of anything else I should mention. It's a little different for me, I think. Oh, well, maybe not. You can tell it's my handwriting, I'm sure. Well, thank you. Thank you for hanging out with me. Let me know if you give something like this a try, what you think. It's so fun to connect with all of you. I couldn't do this without all of you. I super appreciate your support. Great big happy art hugs, and I hope to chat with you soon. Bye, guys.